What's good, my lovelies? Lovely Soul Empress here, coming to do the water signs. April 1st through April 15th, we're gonna take a look at what you guys need to know. Spirit, can you show me what do my water signs, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio need to know for uh, April 1st through the 15th, please? April 1st through the 15th. You have here hollow bone teachability, okay? I just heard um, hard head make a soft ass, okay? That could have been somebody around you or it could have been you, okay? Cosmic womb, the divine feminine, okay? Feel like you're being cracked open in some way. You have here uh, spirit of the river, moment toward, movement towards adventure, okay? So there could have been a, a heavy experience, okay? Cracked open, okay, feeling a little vulnerable, and then a movement begins, okay? You got dra Dragon's Horde protecting the future, okay? Some of you could have been with child, okay? If you're a masculine, you could have recently had a child, okay? But it feels like uh, whether you gave birth to something, gave birth to a child, it's like you're getting ready to give birth to something, okay? Business, relationship, something, okay? And it's you laying the groundwork in some way. Spirit, anything else in this deck? Last shuffle, please. Thank you. At the bottom of the deck, you have eyes of the e eagle rising above the fray. So I feel like the time, it was like a heavy period. Feeling like towards the end of last year. I feel like there's momentum that is uh, putting you, you know, like back on the path or redirecting you, okay? So we're going to take a look at what's going on, uh, Spirit. Can you show me? Just got this. Okay, let's try that. Can you show me? What Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio need to know from April 1st to the 15th, please show me. Do you have judgment? That's the card of Scorpio. Feels like there was some kind of decision that had to be made, okay, about how to proceed after a situation occurred. Spirit, can you show me what is coming in? And you have the four swords. It's a time for healing, that cosmic womb, okay? This, I feel like, um, seems like you're ready, right? So something's calmed down, okay? And it's getting ready to, like, pick up speed, but, like, it feels like in a new direction, okay? What's falling away? The Knight of Cups, okay? So um, this could be a friend, a romantic interest, okay? Spirit, can you show me what is uh they can't see? The Wheel of Fortune, second time around. What is the truth of the matter? Five of Pentacles and the most likely outcome, Spirit, the Eight of Cups, okay? So you're leaving something behind to go towards something new, okay? With the Knight of Wands, there's a lot of possibilities, but now... If you're in a relationship and towards the last of the end of the year, somebody switched it up on you. They went for the Knight of Cups to the Knight of Wands. It's time for you to do some healing. Okay? So we're gonna we're gonna get into it. We're gonna see what else is going on. Spirit, why is this judgment card here for Cancer Pisces and Scorpio? April 1st. Through the 15th. I almost said January. So this could be something that happened in January. Like how it, how it became to be in this way that it is now. Spirit wise judgment here. You have the ten of cups. With the six. With the nine of pentacles. Okay. So that's like happy life, happy wife, happy family, and then also the nine of pentacles and the judgment, right? So are you going to put something back together or are you going to be independent? Okay, this also could have been some type of legal judgment. 
okay? But the Ten of Cups, Tens can be endings as well. So some of you could have came out of a divorce or something like that, okay? With that teachability, hollow bone, right? And you were trying to rest from the situation. Okay, Four of Swords, Spirit Wife. You got the Four of Swords with the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands. Some of you are going to some type of event. And at this event, you know you're going to see the person that you've been kind of like apart from. Okay? But this feels like there's a there was an opportunity, right? Could have been some discussions. Are we going to try to stay together? Give it one uh, more shot. One more shot. Because I love you. You know that it's real when you feel that it's real. Right? But... Sorry, guys. Hold on. Uh, it feels like there's something going on here where you're kind of, you could be waiting to see how it's going to go with this person when you see them. Okay, with the Knight of Cups here in the position of uh, what's falling away. Spirit, can you show me? With the Four of Pentacles crossed, okay? I feel like uh, you could have been holding back from an offer, okay? But it feels more like you were the Knight of Cups because that is your knight. And you were offering something to somebody and it feels like they weren't receptive or they were holding back, but you maybe couldn't figure out why. And it could be because they had options with the Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, and underneath that is the Ace of Swords. That's the truth, okay, that there was some type of secret with the High Priestess underneath that. Okay, with the wheel. Yeah. Spirit, can you show me why the wheel is here? You know, at the bottom of the deck, you had the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is also clarifying uh, <clears throat> the wheel. So for some of you, you were ready for something new. For others of you, this person returned to their old ways, Knight of Wands, okay? And it could have happened suddenly and you could have been confused and you could have been wondering why this person is standoffish with the Queen of Wands underneath the deck and the Knight of Cups and the Chariot, okay? So it feels like a Knight, uh, a Queen of Wands, okay? It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius or just a younger feminine or someone who's in the feminine energy has caught this person's eye, okay? With the five of pentacles here, spirit, why? And I'm looking closely at this uh, knight of wands. He has a gas mask on, okay? Back in the, uh, I don't know if it was the 80s, early 90s, there was a, a rap song called The Gas Face, right? And it, it was like kind of, uh, you know, implying like when you don't want something or you, right? So I feel like this person has been pushing you back, but not telling you why. Okay, you have the Eight of Cups here is the most likely outcome. Okay, Spirit, why is this Eight of Cups here? have here the moon in reverse okay once a secret gets uh first off this person could have walked away without telling you shit okay you could have felt like you needed closure right but i also feel like once something comes out to to the open and there's no more secrets nine of swords it doesn't really make you feel better okay knowing that they had options okay with the devil here there was something toxic okay with the empress this could be you showing up as, uh, you know, giving a lot to this person. You could have had a child with them, okay? For some of you, this person could have had a child somewhere else with someone else. With the Five of Pentacles, you're feeling left out in the cold, okay? 
the death card is here. So it's like there's a lot of emotions attached to how this person went about doing something. Okay, let's let's clarify this Knight of Wands that was on the bottom of the deck. Spirit, why? With the King of Wands and the Strength card cross. This person lacks... They lack... Uh, boundaries or they lack you know being able to resist temptation but with the king of wands here they they take action okay and then afterwards you know the king of wands is known for um asking for forgiveness rather than permission okay and sometimes not even the forgiveness part and that's what i feel okay with the high priestess and the Ace of Swords, again, at the bottom of the deck. So it makes me feel like the truth is, truth is, never gotten over you, right? They, they, there's somebody else around them that they're trying to pull. I feel like they, they may not necessarily be in a full-fledged relationship with this person, but they want to convince this person that they're available. Okay, Spirit, can you show me? I feel like this person is younger. Spirit, can you show me? Or I should say the person that they're dealing with is younger. Lovers, wealthy man. Judication. Anything else? Thank you. And despair. We change at the bottom of the deck. We're going to clarify those as well. Let's use this deck. Spirit lovers. with regrets crossed, okay? The lovers was crossed and regrets is crossed, okay? So this person likes to keep their options open. They're not really overly regretful, okay? You may be going through a lot because of this. Wealthy man, self-love, okay? This person feels like they're entitled to do this or whatever, okay? And um, I feel like spirit's trying to show you that there's a need for you to love yourself, okay? Because it feels like you could have been waiting to have like understand more clearly, right? But it feels like there were there were warning signs, judication. With temptation and self-sabotage. I knew that was going to come out because um, you had here uh, judgment as the first card. Felt, and I said to you, Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. You could have gave somebody a second chance. It feels like you did. But it feels like they agreed to a second chance when they knew they weren't going to put their best. Okay? Because you got judication with temptation and self-sabotage. Okay? So I feel like they sabotage. They knew they were going to sabotage it, okay? With despair. They were biding time, okay? Celebration coming out crossed and regained balance, right? So um, because you gave it a second chance, it, 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 it weighs more heavily on you with the crossroads. I feel like that's where you are right now. Family concerns, okay? This person could have left you in the lurch in a way. But with the inner healing card, it's time. It's time to do that, okay? You may feel like you're coming out of a dark night of the soul, okay? But spirit wants you to know that there's positive a change attached to this, although maybe you can't see it just yet, okay? Spirit, can you show me? What else do they need to know from the love and romance? Spirit, can you show me what's going on? You have here a uh, chemistry cross, spirit, show me. Codependency, separation, and children. Um, last shuffle, anything else? Too many, spirit. Release your ex coming out cross. At the bottom of the deck, past life relationship, okay? And I told you something was coming back around, right? Now the chemistry, spirit, why is the chemistry card here? Crossed. marionette and right okay so basically the kind the chemistry kind of got stagnant right 
And this person didn't really want to let go of control or lose access to you, okay? But they have an interest somewhere else. So with the marionette, they're trying to keep control of the situation, puppet the situation, okay? But they have to sacrifice something for the thing that they want new. And it feels to me, my love, sorry to say that the sacrifice in essence is you. Like, well, I, I don't have to necessarily tell my water sign that I'm venturing out in a new way because I don't know if that's going to work. But for now, I will just pull back from what my water sign until I, I can check out this other option and see if I can make it uh, work, okay? So you got codependency here. Yeah. So you got codependency here, okay? So this person feels like they can do that because somehow they feel like you need them okay with a blessing like you see them as a blessing okay with stop okay like in other words they can dictate to you how much they want to give right but with third wheel underneath here this could even be somebody that you know okay with pride i feel like this person feels entitled to do certain things separation spirit wise You have uh, stubbornness here, fate and blind, right? I feel like, you know, there is a separation, but you could be trying to contact this person or try to talk to them and they're refusing, okay? With the fate card, you could have been trying to uh, divine whether they were returning, but I feel like this in some way is meant to happen, okay? Okay. With the blind here, it's like they needed you, your spirit team needed you to see something, confinement about how this person isolates you in some way, in some type of bubble that gives them control with that marionette card, okay? With the children here, children comes out with compromise, real estate, overload and good news okay if you are living with this person or let's say you're married and there was some type of divorce you guys pause the divorce so you could figure out what was going to happen i feel like you're going to do very well in the divorce okay overload real estate okay and compromise this person is not going to they're not going to just easily get away with what they've done with the real estate okay now um i should say re release your ex um i feel like if you have a child with them and you're not married, okay, Spirit's telling you to make sure you get your, your support, okay? With the release, your ex coming out crossed and fury, as soon as you ask for your half, get child support, do whatever you got to do to uh, make yourself whole. This isn't a revenge. This is like what needs to be done for the future. This person's going to be very fucking angry, Okay? Uh, introvert, normally you don't really like the conflict, right? So I feel like you're going to pull back, okay? Commitment. They're going to feel very angry, okay? Because they feel like, not like you're stealing from them. It feels like they're angry because, let's say, I'm going to give you an example. Let's say that this person moved out and is living with somebody else. They may not have told them that uh you know they could have said well i left my girlfriend or boyfriend right but they may not have told them we have two kids right because it wouldn't look good right so then when the paperwork comes for the child support they're mad not that you i mean they're gonna be mad that you put them on child support but they're really fucking mad that the paperwork came and now this person knows okay that they were dishonest about something to try to get them. Because remember I said there was something about a sacrifice. Like they're willing to let you um, go through some shit just so this person doesn't know. Okay? With fright. Like they're worried. Okay? And gift. Okay? And marriage. It could be that they didn't want them to know that they were married. Okay? Or they were trying to keep it a secret that they were going through a divorce, okay? 
and and the terrible part and I, and I hate to see you know to say that but I feel like this person feels like the other person is a gift so they're concerned about them finding out the truth about the situation with you guys okay so you got past life relationship at the bottom of the deck and it comes out with stress crossed okay this person has come in and out of your life spirit saying let go of uh, the toxicity let go of like the outcome okay because it's just uh like pulling this uh lower frequency okay you may need a coach right now to help you relax and regain balance okay um i feel like you need your your sister friends or your your brother friends all right um to to like shore up uh how you feel emotionally okay because i feel like this person is going after their own wish fulfillment and it's hard for you to um to process all that has uh, gone on but spirit does want you to know that as soon as you release this there's like new movement towards something positive but the frequency, okay, you have honeymoon here, which is telling you kind of like go on a vacation, go on a trip, go go do something, a staycation, a day with your friends, something to recharge your frequency, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt that I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste, gang, gang. Bye.